What's up, besties? Welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you so very much for being here with me. You all are freaking incredible. Thank you to all of our new subscribers, our OG tribe members. Um, I'm just so super stoked to be getting messages here for you on the almost daily. Let's ring the sound bowl. We'll call in spirit and then we will get straight into those messages. Um, today, I'm just going to do an open reading to see what comes up and what you need to know. Here we go, friends. I'm stoked. Let's do it. Okay, I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so very much, spirit. Well, whoever I'm reading for today, I can tell you right now your current vibe is moving on, you know, really trying to control your thoughts, control your mind, keep yourself focused on um, the future or the, I, I mean, even the present moment, right? Okay, the present moment, the future. Someone here does not want to think about the past, okay? Um, someone's like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to think about it. I'm just going to continue to push forward in my life. I'm going to stay in my own lane. Look, I've learned a lot of lessons and I'm just ready for a little bit of peace and harmony in my world. And that does not include past energy. Okay. So whoever you are, whoever I'm reading for, you are focused on the now and going forward. So what do we see? Oh, there's the reason why we have the five of cups. Look, I feel like whoever's reading this is you have spent quite a bit of time ruminating over the past and thinking about what has been lost here. Okay, um, what's been lost, you've, you've done your grieving and I feel like you've cried enough tears, you know, and you've just come to this point where you're like, okay, I'm just, I, I've got to, I've got to put, pick myself back up here. I've got to focus on what's still standing, what's still um, positive. I, I, I need to just change my focus. Okay, so I love that determination coming in because, you know, we have to, we have to feel things in order to heal them. And there's nothing wrong with grieving um, the past or loss or, you know, what even even ideas that we used to hold for what our future would look like, right? We have to grieve those things in order to truly move past them. So let's see what's still standing for you in your life that you may be focusing on currently. I love it. Look at that 10 of pentacles. This is so good. You know, this is such a healthy vibe. Okay. So whoever you are, you have done a lot of healing work. So pat yourself on the back. Congratulations. You've pretty much made it out of the muck and the mire. Okay. Because what I see here is this somebody who's really focused on their goals, on the future, on their uh, idea of what their life could look like, should look like, what you want your life to look like, okay? What's important to you? The ten, the pentacles really represent what we hold dear, what we place value on. So whether that's a career or more money in the bank or a happy retirement or creating your legacy, whatever that is, it could be a life partnership as well with the ten of pentacles. It's really establishing something um, that's going to last a lifetime. So you are focused on long-term goals, okay? Um, and that is also good health, wealth, abundance, right? I love seeing this here for you because you're like, you know what? I still have, like, you know what song it just gave me? Um, I'm, It's by Pink and I know it. And it's like, I don't know if it's 90s or early 2000s or something, but it's like, so what? I'm still a rock star, I've got my rock moves, you know, and I don't need you. That's what that, that's what song it's giving right now. Um, so you're just like kind of stepping out of, like I said, stepping out of a bit of a funk, okay? Why is this reading coming up? What does this person need to know? This is really good stuff here, okay? You're like, you know what? I still got it. I've still got it, right? I've still got it. Uh, we have the four of pentacles, the five of pentacles. 
Oh gosh. See, as you're moving forward, as you're focusing, I do feel like there is someone here who is uh, very much holding on to the situation still. And I don't believe that it is you. Um, I believe it's probably the other person involved. Okay. So um, there's someone still hanging on very tightly to your energy and feeling very much lost without you or feeling the lack of you in their world. Okay. Now I'm not going to hundred percent make it a love reading because you can um, some, you could have, uh, left a very toxic work environment and been really sad about it. Be like, you know what? I really thought this was the career for me. Um, I really had goals and plans and ideas of what, you know, my path would be my career path. Um, and now I'm leaving it. That's fine. I've got new goals, but this could be like, you know, your employer or whatever it was being very sad and wanting you to come back. Okay. So I'm just going to put that out there because not everybody's here for love readings. Okay, not everyone's here for love readings. And you could you could also apply this to like a family member or a friendship. Okay, so please uh, take that accountability and place the energy where it belongs for you in your story. If it doesn't belong at all, that's cool. Hopefully we'll get you tomorrow or the next day, right? Okay, but anyways, so whoever you left or whatever, whoever the other party is in this situation is very much still clinging on um to you and to the loss of this relationship we'll just put that there okay where you've like you've done enough grieving you've done enough um yeah you've just you've done enough you're over it okay this is like i'm over it and my focus is somewhere else okay so why is this energy coming up for our beautiful collective who's been working really hard on you know uh, focusing on what's important for you okay that's what you've been doing focusing on what's important for you what do we have Ooh, this is great. We have the star and the freaking ace of pentacles. Listen, this is incredible energy, okay? I have the eight of swords in the bottom of the deck, but and we'll talk about that in a moment. Let me tell you where you, you are headed, okay? You are headed towards this dream and this goal. You are very much supported here by the universe on this new path, okay? And again, this has been coming up for a collective, so it's awesome, good news. But when we see the star, this is actually the only major arcana energy in the reading. So this tells me that you are healed, okay? Or you've you've healed enough, okay? Is, is, every, is anyone ever truly healed of all things? I don't know, right? It's a process. It's a journey, um, <laughs> but I'll tell you, you've healed enough where you have actually raised your vibration and you have changed your frequency. So you are now dialed in to a new tune, right? You're dialed into a new energy vibration, which is very exciting because what this means is that the things that you've been dreaming of, the things that you've been reassessing in your world, as in like, what do I really want? Where do I want to see myself? What are my goals? You know, those kinds of things. You are, you are actually being supported by the universe and you are bringing those things into fruition. So your manifestation skills are on point right now. And with the star here, it lets me know that you are 100% likely to achieve those goals, okay? Because this is the dream come true, the wish come true, wish upon the star. It also brings in hope and optimism for the future. Um, when you are in this state, you are a lot more open to receiving downloads from spirit, downloads from the universe, great, brilliant ideas. Um, very interesting that that pink song came out because it's coming back again. So what? I'm still a rock star, right? I'm still a star. Now it doesn't have to be a rock star. You are still a star. So whoever I'm reading for is feeling like they've got their mojo back, right? They've got their mojo back and you are going to be starting to see actual tangible results from this shift and change in your vibration, okay? You're no longer, you know what? And remember how I was saying there was somebody still holding on to you, holding on to the past, holding on to the energy. That could have also been you for quite some time, but you're no longer doing that, right? Um, you know, and, and with the five of pentacles, the five of cups showing up in this reading, this is letting me know that, you know, fives are all about challenges. If we talk about the numerology, like representation here, they're challenges. And you have actually... You, because we've got tens, we've got ones here, the 10 and the ace, you know, you have overcome those and you are in your new beginning era. <laughs> okay. Where you will start to see 
your dreams, your goals, the things that you've been, again, trying to create, um, come into reality, come into focus, right? Um, and you're actually starting to make steps toward these long-term plans and goals in your life. And it's only going to get better. Okay. It's only going to, we're only going up from here, folks. Okay. So if you were feeling like you were stuck in a rut or down in a hole or whatever the case, this, this is a total shift. This is a total shift that's happened within you. It's almost like, I know it's not like this, but it feels like today you wake up and boom, I'm over it. Okay. I've got, I've got, I'm, I've wasted enough time or I've, I don't want to say wasted because we do need to feel to heal, right? So I've spent enough time grieving and, and holding on and trying to change things I can't change and all that stuff. I, I've released it, I've cried all the tears, I'm over it, I'm done. And now it's like, it's, today is a new day, okay? So it's, it's a really beautiful shift and change in attitude. And with, I told you I would speak about this, right? And that's the eight of swords. And that can speak to feeling trapped, you know, feeling like, am I ever going to get out of this mess? Am I ever going to be able to let this go? Am I ever going to be able to move on? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. We feel like we may be trapped in a certain situation or um, a, a certain mindset, way of thinking, uh, and that there's no way out. But you have literally freed yourself. You freed your mind. I just heard... <laughs> I'm always going to get like 90s jams, okay? Because I'm a 90s person. Like, that's just the way it is. Um, Yeah, so yeah, that's the way it's going to go here on the channel. But I just heard like, free your mind and the rest will follow. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Um, I know it's a song about a different thing, um, but <laughs> that's what I heard. So you have you have successfully freed your mind, okay? Which is really incredible. So I feel like, you know, good things are coming. What else can I say? I mean, in order to achieve the Ten of Pentacles, we have those first steps uh, that are coming in here with the Ace, okay? So it all starts It all starts somewhere, right? And you are building towards these goals. And you, with the star here, it is your time. You are achieving this. You are supported by the universe. So excellent, excellent, excellent energy for the day. Um, and I'm sure it can spill over, you know, it'll spill over to other days of the week as well. Whenever you tune into this, it is meant to be timeless, but actually, you know what? I am reading this during the Pisces full moon energy, to be totally honest. I, I should have just read on that, but I guess that's what we've done. So let's watch out for number sinks. This one just fell out. I literally did one shuffle. So what do we have? Uh, 1818 is willpower. Achievement, success, striving forward, prosperity, go-getters, courage, and luck. I love it. So it says, wow, significant events are on in the cards for you. You'll progress in your endeavors and gain new experiences, right? The right people and resources will be put on your path. An excellent proposal or change is coming up and you are destined for greatness. I love this. I love this energy for our tribe. I don't know what else to throw on it. Let's, let's let's put down an affirmation and just, you know, that's it. Let's put down an affirmation. All right. I will come back with a love reading because I know we've got a tribe that wants both, okay? <laughs> These are the spiritual messages or just kind of like the vibe of the day. Short and sweet, my loves. And we'll get into a love reading for those of you who are interested, okay? If you're new to my channel here, or our channel, our tribe, um, we would love to have you join us. All you have to do is subscribe. It is free to do so, my loves, and I appreciate all of your energy exchange. And that means comments, you know, liking, sharing, anything, and everything, donations. Thank you so much. Ordering readings. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so let's get to your affirmation before we move on. <laughs> Every thought I think is creating my future. Now that is important to remember, right? Every thought I think is creating my future. Every decision I make, every step I take, you know, um, it really, it's, you're really in this powerful moment where literally the world is your oyster, you know? Okay. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and believe. All right. Now, if you want to lock that in, just to remember, I always find that writing something down helps me remember. But if you want to type it in the comments to lock it in, feel free to do so. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and believe. I have unlimited choice about what I think. 
You know, you can think about anything, right? You can, well, you, there's no limits, right? I choose balance, harmony, peace, and I express it in my life. Look at that. And I see that from the very opening of this reading. You are choosing balance, harmony, and peace. All right? And you will be seeing those results in your world. I love this reading. <laughs> I also love all of you. Thank you for being here. And I will read for you again. Bye. She don't kill me. Fight to the car to death. She said she don't need love me. Fight to the car that wasn't in the deck. She cried my finger touch. Say I got my wish. You know for sure when it's all done. She said she was beautiful.